you're going to want to stay tuned because I am so excited, so blessed, and just so honored for our next guest. She is my special guest on the Power Hour with me, your host, Lauren Powers. And I just can't believe I'm even having her on my show, you guys. So this is just, uh, when we, you'll find out who she is in just a second. But her name is Dr. Harbeen Aurora. She's on live here with me all the way from India. I believe she's in New Delhi. We'll find out in a second. But you guys, we, her and I are going to just have a sisterhood chat because she's truly my sister. And I have a picture that's so favorite I'm going to share with you guys in just a moment that's in my book. It was just a special moment. And right now, without further ado, I want to bring her on. Dr. Harbeen, welcome to the show. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. And thank you, my sister, for doing this for all of us, for me, for you, and for our powerful U.S. delegation. Yes, we, we were Team USA at your Women Economic Forum, what, two years ago in New Delhi? 2018, yes, I remember it so vividly, <laughs> and so does everyone else who was there at the forum. You guys rocked and continue to rock. <laughs> yes, we made quite a splash. I, I was just talking to Mamie, who I call my mama, that she organized all of us, and then like, I met her two days before we had to make the decision to go. And I'm so gr grateful that I did because it literally changed my life. And I, I just wanted to share that with you because we don't, when we're at the event, your event, it's, you're so busy because hello, there's like 2000 people there for six days. It's the most, no matter how thing. busy I am or anyone is, they can never, ever not see Team USA because it's just so amazing. So if I missed out on seeing you, it would be utterly my loss. <laughs> and I still remember how Everyone in the forum was talking about Team, US, Team USA, especially the Indians, because um, even, even people from abroad, but for different reasons, the Indians were so happy with the way you reached out to Mother India with such an open heart. I, mm -hmm. I can't get out of my head that vivid picture of all of you in the beautiful saris. Yeah. Um, when you when you came and dressed al Indian in the Indian way, and of course everybody else who came from the other countries for the sheer um, uh, love, you know, you just opened up your hearts with the floodgates of love just open, and you just you just shared, and you and you it, it was just so so precious. So thank you for those indelible memories. <laughs> No, thank you, because that was such a big transformation for my life. Personally, it's the first time, you know, I've ever been on a big stage and to receive the award from you. And we joked about it on the way to Taj Mahal. There was all, all the U.S. Uh, we were all in the, the car together going there for about four hour drive. And I'm like, well, at least I beat the bell. And everybody in the car said, no, you didn't. <laughs> you went over. To one. Like, what? I didn't even hear it. But you were so gracious and let me let me go and share my story and accept the award and what it meant to me. And I'll never forget it. In fact, the, I have to share before I forget the, the, my favorite picture in my book, which I was honored to give you on stage as well. The, oh. the year fall. But there we are in our saris and you're giving me the award and all of that. I remember I, it was so great. And it was it was actually literally I just want to share with it with everybody that's out there. It was like there's, there's, there, there is someone who may not be in that picture, but it's written all over the picture, and that's called heart, you know? Yeah. In that picture, there's just heart, a big, big heart. Uh, there's, there's love coming out of, uh, in terms of energy from that picture. So thank you for show, showing that and sharing that. Oh, it's my favorite picture. And then I remember when I came back the next year. I was so honored because I had given out all the awards at my event that you, you allowed me to do here in Orange County, California. And then you sent the plaques to everybody and they got to put, say, like the Academy Awards almost. <laughs> the, biggest, the big screen. Lauren, your, your presentation makes them the, 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 uh, um, the Emmy Awards or the Academy Awards. <laughs> And I remember what you said, though. You said, you know, what this was because I was. It was an exception. It was different because they all couldn't make it because it was last minute. They couldn't get the flights and everything to come with the visas and everything to come to be there live, and that you allowed them to 
make the video to be be there and share yeah, with Yeah, it was it was beautiful. We still have that video by the way on our website. You so do? If anybody who go Yes, anybody who goes sees the testimonials on our website uh, mm -hmm. on the web.org.in should find that, find find those videos there. Um, uh, there. There's some very other high profile videos of um, of prime ministers and uh, presidents and vice presidents and former presidents along with your videos and so it's wonderful and then the us have, we, usa ladies we have web tv, um, uh, web TV .in, where under the events section on that session section you will find the video because that is where we upload all the content the video content of all the web events so far which has been 35 editions in 20 countries um, uh, wow. so far so all that material, all that info, all that content is on bestv.org. And as I said, on the testimonials page as well. So you, you, you find your video there. <laughs> amazing, amazing. But I remember what you said to me and it had me in tears that you said that you talked to Vinay about it and it was kind of a big deal to be able to do this. Because you know you're so structured with your event. Yeah, because we we we, we don't we don't allow <laughs> when other people ask us. We say, no, no, it's not allowed. But it, sometimes um, when there is a great uh, great uh, in India, we use the word uh, dharma. It's a greater duty to uphold. Then uh, the rule becomes an exception, right? Because uh, mm -hmm. uh, there is in that moment something greater to uphold. So I think it was one of those moments. Awesome. Yes, you told me I had the magic key to your heart. You do because you have a golden heart. <laughs> the golden heart. I know. And I started crying. And I remember giving you your book on stage. And I was so, it just, it just was, was so emotional for me because I look at you, like I, like I said on stage, I work with many, many big celebrities, you know. But you, you are my celebrity, and you're my mentor, and my sister. Oh, that's, that's the best place to be in, in somebody's dreams, in somebody's hearts, because that's where um, I get to grow as well, you know? Not just you get to be delighted, but when you give me, when you allow me space into your own heart, into your own sacred space, uh, you allow me a very beautiful blossoming with you, an expansion of my soul through you, uh, which I wouldn't have got the opportunity for if you didn't let that happen. So thank you for the upliftment and the expansion that you bring to me uh, through your open-hearted, golden-lighted heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so amazing. And I'm, I'm just thrilled to support your movement and your mission with the 1 million women by 2022, right? Well, that's what we said. And uh, every time we say something or put out something, it looks like people think they are absolutely out of their <laughs> mind. Uh, yeah, they're absolutely crazy. But somehow, uh, I think the universe loves that craziness about us because it's coming from a very pure intention space. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes it come true like a miracle. I mean, Egypt, we were there in Egypt. And uh, it, was a, it was a miracle that happened with all that's happening around the world. It the was world. like we were yeah. all in a, yeah, we were all in a safe bubble. Uh, you know, people from every country in the world, uh, our annual edition, and it went off really like we were on uh, Aladdin's magic carpet or something you know it was just untouched by anything that we knew was happening around okay not to that this extent where there weren't any government guidelines or lockdowns and everything so uh, it was just at the cusp but still you look back and you say oh my god you know you were just so uh, privileged and so sheltered and so protected by mother nature and so if in a moment, you, you, if you see the miracles, like I think it's Einstein who said that uh, the two ways, I, I read it on Facebook, I don't know if, even if he said it or not, but it's a beautiful quote, whoever said it, is that there are two ways of living your life. And one is that nothing is a miracle. And the other is that everything is. Exactly. I so I, together. I, I really tend towards this side because it makes life a celebration instead of a void, right? Uh, it's both. It's a void and it's a celebration. The universe is both. Uh, but what angle, what, which way do you want to look at it? And I love to look at it 
through, maybe that's my karmic journey. That's what I'm here to learn. Uh, I love to look at it as uh, a miracle in every moment. And so the moment you train yourself, sort of you open that aspect and the way you when you start seeing life like that, really, you see the miraculous intervention of the divine, of nature, whatever name you want to call it, God, Allah, Jesus, Krishna, uh, Rama, uh, Mother Shakti, uh, whatever, Yehovah, whatever, whatever you want to call it, whatever mm-hmm. that, 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 that force, that super intelligent million mothers-like force that, that you want to call is present in the present, in everything. It's present in the omnipresent, but for you to see it, if you just open the, those, those eyes, you really see that miracle everywhere. And, and the more you are blessed by this energy, the more you start seeing it, because it's also a blessing to be able to see it and to feel, oh my God, and to feel humbled and to feel just so totally protected and anchored in faith that you are part of it. And you're not lost, you're not alone. Uh, and to feel that faith in every cell of, of your bone, <laughs> or whatever that means, I mean, yes. just feeling it everywhere inside of you. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. A bit of digression there, but yeah, uh, that's for me, uh, that's what, how we do what we do. And that's how we meet beautiful souls as you, Mammy, TD, and all my amazing Team USA. <laughs> You're so sweet. We we are committed and to stand in bringing another big team to the next WEF event. I believe it's going to be in Egypt again in 2021. Oh well, the uh, one of the so we really don't know how it's going at the moment. So okay. the Egypt event happens the first time we have an annual edition at the Women Economic uh, of the Women Economic Forum in a country outside of India, which is where we are founded and headquartered. Uh, but it happened because I simply followed a soul sister, a very, very dear soul sister who made it all happen in Egypt. And also then in Egypt, uh, in these, um, uh, I don't know, it was again prophetic that I announced on the spur of the moment. And this was something that was uh, I wanted to do for a while. It's been on my mind, but I didn't realize that destiny would have us make it do so immediately so at the opening inaugural of the media uh, you know the media was present and we announced and it was covered in in, in the entire um, you know national media of egypt and and on international platforms that we are announcing the uh, open launch of the platform she economy by next year which will be an e-commerce by women entrepreneurs the women partners women co-founders i mean you don't have to be just working with women you can be working with men but you should be the stakeholder and you should be part of the show yes, right? I mean, hear about it <laughs> and, uh, yeah and so uh I said we will announce it, launch it in a year, and then when all the lockdowns and everything happened, and 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 women started, you know, there are all sorts of effects it's having on every aspect of our life. But one of the aspect is there are there are some positive aspects for women as well. But one of the not so positive aspect is that uh, when you are sort of taking being at home and everybody is at home, sort of your it's like, it's like our screen time is increasing, right? Not because we want to be too much on the screen, but that's now one of the ways to work. So instead of my two hours average time, I'm being told I'm spending six hours on the screen. Um, I never liked that, but now I'm doing that, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's like my home time's increased instead of being uh, yeah, uh, eight hours at the home, I'm 18 hours or, or 24 hours at the home, right? So my home time's increased. So concomitantly, the responsibilities of home care of looking after everybody, which is a delight for every woman, of course, but it sort of increases without any resistance. And before you know, you're like, when do I do my work? And uh, my, you know, or when do I go out and do that, which is my dream or whatever, I want to write a book. When do I get me time, my time, or whatever you want to do, right? Sure. Or you're running a business, whatever you're doing. And then, um, so we have to find our own ways of doing, continuing to do whatever we are doing in our own space. And uh, sometimes that becomes difficult. So obviously, if you choose between family and work, your family comes first. It's a source of your, uh, I mean, for me, for a lot of women I know, uh, our relationships, the love that we share, that's paramount. But it shouldn't come have to come at the expense of uh, 
giving up on our dreams, right? So right. how can women do both, right? Well, how can have, uh, you know, be, be part of the family, run the show at home, and also run the show in the world? So we said the She Economy platform will okay. give women the opportunity to tap onto a portal where they're all sisters right there selling goods and services. I think we are the first platform in the world to have services as well. You normally have uh, Amazon-like goods uh, being okay. sold, but uh, there is maybe there are some niche platforms for services, but there is no platform with a vision like ours. Uh, so I hope it gets done because it's quite uh, an inclusive, comprehensive vision. But if I believe in miracles, it will get done because it's nothing short of miraculous what we're attempting. So to have women get entrepreneurs sell. Get it done. Sell, get it done yeah. if you will. Hello. We're going to talk about something they've already but, done. Well, all that we've gotten done so far, connected 200,000 women, done 35 editions of the Women Economic Forum, had 1,000 chapters of the All Ladies League. Everything is, mir is a miraculous number, really. Uh, nothing is normal. So you do feel there's a divine push uh, pushing you to go do your thing, uh, as long as you're holding that sacred spirit and pure intention with the, with the vision of loving all and serving all and including all. And together manifesting that divine feminine through each of us connected and coordinated and collaborating and um, and conscious uh, so that that's what we're doing uh, so and um, she economy is uh, okay. the world's first women only e-commerce but for everyone everyone is very welcome to come and buy on the platform our suppliers our partners can be everyone as well so there's no problem but you know so women only like women business owners, women entrepreneurs, uh, women, women consultants, women coaches, uh, women writers. So these are the people who can come onto the portal and sell their products as well as services. Um, it's not just selling, it's also about connecting. So just like you connect on other social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, you can connect to, if you're a restaurant business, you can connect to, uh, if you're looking at suppliers who supply interior decoration for restaurants, uh, you can connect raw material. If you serve uh, a coconut-based restaurant, uh, you can connect to suppliers doing coconut, you know, things like that. And you can have contact to these people, to these sisters from anywhere in the world in this trusted space. Of course, we uh, ask everybody to throw in their own vigilance as well, because this is a marketplace and network is different. But for the first time, our powerful global network is now a powerful global marketplace. Wow. So uh, while we, you know, it's the same same sense of sisterhood, but it's a marketplace. So we wear, a, wear our thinking caps a little more. So it's, uh, uh, yeah, so it's, that's what we're doing. And then I got a call from a few people and said, why are you waiting for a year? to do the launch of She Economy because now is when it's needed the most because we are sort of slipping back and these are transition times. There's, this is when a signal of hope like this from an institution like yours, which has a lot of people who believe in you, admire you, respect you, will also sort of, you know, take into that vision and, and do their bit in promoting it. And we all have time at hand to do that right now. So why don't you do it right now? And I heard the universe and we said, okay, of course it requires a lot of resources. So everything's challenging in these times, but we just committed. When you commit to something, uh, I think it's Goethe who said, right? There's um, commit to something, this boldness. Uh, boldness has magic in it, or, you know, something like that. When you when you commit to something, the the little things of the universe start moving and getting into action. So commit, That's right. make that commit, and make it say happen. that yes, uh, yeah. And everything begins with that yes. So everything will follow you and put its weight behind you the moment you say yes with with conviction and boldness. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. Um, wow. uh, so we don't know what our next thing are. We currently is um, we are reaching out to people like I reached out to you, um, to Didi, to everybody, my team USA. I'd love you all to be there on board. So I'm okay. currently doing like preliminary reach out on one on one, asking people for their feedback. This is what we are. What do you think? So this is like um, a, a sort of stage where we are sort of building up our FAQs and what are the queries? How can we best answer that? What will we be? What will we not be figuring out the design? And also simultaneously working with technology partners 
uh, we have a company uh, that we are working. We'll formally announce the partnership soon. And uh, it's a very well-known global company. And uh, they're very kind to come in and um, help us. Of course, they have a fee involved. And so <laughs> they are trying to help us find sponsors to you know, feel, find the fee because, we are, as you know, we are what we are. We do what we do, which is what we have, which is a big heart. And uh, um, so we are trying to put the ecosystem together. And uh, I guess it should be up in a couple of months. Wow, that's amazing. That's so thrilling, exciting. Oh, I have no doubt you're going to do it. You do everything. I mean, you've done so much. All of us do it. All of us Together. do it. All of us, all of us, the ecosystem does it. And all of us Together. do it. So yeah. thank you. What you're doing for us right now is doing it a little bit more. So thank you. Yes, I want to get the word out and a word out about your economy and then the word about the the um, your your mission with the million the mission million yes because you know um, the the platform will uh, catch the eye of the investors if there are a lot of people on it so initially we want a thousand sellers listed on the portal and then about at least from fifty countries so it's a global place and uh, then we want to eventually move to 10,000 right in a couple of years or so it should you know move because we are already connected to 200,000 women who are entrepreneurs and um, uh, consultants and coaches and uh, professionals uh, and women who have always wanted to quit and start their own venture may just get mm -hmm. that sort of like ah oh, I can do this now <laughs> I've yeah. got an ecosystem there because selling and marketplace and it's not just about selling you can also you know, there's a community on the platform where you can actually ask your questions to peers saying okay i'm struggling with my business plan on this aspect did somebody face a problem like a forum sort of a thing where people women in a space of trust will share whatever they can so of course you can tap into the professional services of mentoring as well which you can pay for but there is also an informal community like and then you can hop into a women economic forum meet people i mean you know it's all interconnected uh, there's the platform there's the forum there's the local sisterhood chapters and there is the goal of getting a million women on board we can do this no kidding you you do everything you said to i mean you just amaze me that's why you're you're my celebrity i call it this you really are because I remember being at the, at last year's, and your brother or something gave me some of the BioVerda, uh, Verda uh, products, and then he right. told me the story that you were the like the scientist or the biochemist behind it all. I'm like, what? He goes, oh That's yeah, my passion. <laughs> and then you have like how many SKUs of products? Like there's not just three or four in a line. There was oh like yeah, we 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 have like about uh, 550 products. And the SKUs would be like, I think, running into 3,000 or something with different sizes and different uh, fragrances, so, you know, only natural ones. Um, yeah, so we use essential oils. We use everything found in nature. In fact, it's so amazing. I just started a range of natural makeup. And because, you know, I, I always felt that makeup should not cover cover your face makeup or whatever makeup is should should bring out what is beauty what should enhance and just bring out and make you feel happy rather than give you a false sense of oh i covered it up so i look better uh how, can i create something that makes me look fresh and prepped up but is also protecting my skin and also taking care of my skin simultaneously so as you know we do zero synthetics completely no chemicals so even the base of our creams is made with shea butter cocoa butter whatever things we add and there's no secret to it it's all written on my bottle and on my website we we, we don't have any secret formulations it's all there for everybody to see and say make your do your own thing like mix your own stuff just go back to mother nature she's got it all and if you don't have time then pick 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 this one up right um so uh in the natural makeup we use uh, five different sort of clays for a foundation like for instance that you can do so we we different like the white clay the pink clay and the, uh, the yellow clay and these are all natural right and just put some essential oils into it and uh, just a little bit of your own balance of if you have an oily skin put a little bit of coconut oil if you don't have too much you know so depends on whatever and then you just mix it all up and you put it on your skin and it's like foundation i couldn't believe it like <laughs> it's 
completely natural. I was so excited. Uh, lip gloss, you know, I love lip gloss. And, uh, but my, each time my problem is what is, what chemicals are there every time I'm eating my, I'm having my tea right now. Or, yeah. or what's, but there is, there, you know, beetroot colors, natural beetroot colors, which are so rich. Colors of the flower hibiscus, so rich. And that's all we need to do. Just sort of add it into your, and I'm using one uh, which we made with a peach color. It's like a golden hue. And I just love, love, love it completely. So that's the next big thing. I, mean, awesome. <laughs> I know. I got so many products. I brought it home on the plane. With, and then the TSA opened it up. They're like, what is this? Because your brother gave me a whole kit. I'm like, no, no, please don't keep it. I was like, hey. I'm like, God, please let it go through. And for whatever, I prayed about it. I guess it had your blessing on it because they didn't confiscate it. Because it was yeah, whole- I know it, it happens. It, it happens to me also every time I travel. I've got my kit of what I need for my <sighs> my sun care and my night cream and everything. And these are glass jars. These are glass bottles, so they look a bit heavy, and uh, you know they're chunky and heavy and solid, right? So every time they open up my at the airport, they say, "What is this?" And they really think I'm carrying something strange, you know? Like, and then I open the bottle and they smell, and they look like, "Okay, <laughs> take it with you." <laughs> Right, I know it, but mine was so all wrapped so beautifully because he, he, yeah, he right, right. I was so grateful. I just love all that stuff. So yeah, so you're the chemist on this huge line of natural products, and then I remember being at one of the um, the breakout rooms, and it was the university that you own the school <laughs> as well. I'm like, yeah. Oh. You change it to well, well, right? that, That's uh, that's a philanthropic activity in the sense that well everything with all WEF is also a philanthropic activity. So, but the institutions, uh, the way it's done in India is that every university, if you want to be called a university, or there's a little deemed university thing also, but I won't get into that. But normally a university, or there's a word university used, you have to be legislated by either the central government of India, which is the parliament, or the state government, which is the federal structure, like you have, like central and a federal, like states can do it on their own. So we have four universities which are legislated by the state governments of four different states in the north, west, east, south of India, in all four corners of India. And what we teach over there is agriculture. Um, again, it's a philanthropic, it's, um, uh, it's a privately funded university we have amongst the lowest fees and we have complete scholarships for underserved girls who come from any part of the world uh, it's been running for a few years now and uh, yeah it's a, it's a little thing that I just I sort of oversee uh, so uh, now it's uh, because um, Big thing. so it's- much learning in that and uh, yeah it's but uh, it, the it's so amazing like when I started my natural uh, my Ayurveda company, it actually started because I was coaching people, like telling young people to not leave their land and not leave their agricultural uh, vocation to just migrate to the cities and do jobs which are not really uh, deserving of, of, you know, they, they can do better with the traditional knowledge and know-how that they have of the land and be with the, with the family, with the community and be part of an ecosystem that uplifts them, that gives them dignity and rather than just namelessly go out into the city and just do whatever it takes to survive, right? You don't have to do that. So we were, oh, had a plan, we, we called them smart villages. So we wanted to set up uh, food production, uh, processing facilities, and organic growing. And I, I, I was giving a pep talk one day, and I said, "Listen, you grow organic medicinal herbs." Because I was working on bio Ayurveda, and I, I knew the kind of demand there is for organic produce everywhere. Uh, like we do supplements for for immunity. We do turmeric. We do so many different herbs which help you sleep better, relax, detox, take care of your liver, prostate, heart, everything. Right like superfood kind of supplements. And I said, you know, there's immense demand outside in the world. And so if you grow, you wouldn't have any problem of selling if you just grow organically. So we will teach you how to grow organically with bio herbicides, bio germicides. There are plants. You don't have to use chemicals, heavy chemicals and pesticides and all. You can do it all naturally. There are ways we will train you for it free of cost, right? But just grow this on your land. 
And uh, so one of the guys said, well, we will grow if you tell us who's going to buy. So I just started, you know, it was a bait. It was a bait. The universe sent me a bait. And I said, okay, I'm going to buy. Okay, I'm going to buy. Just grow it and I'm going to buy. You know the bravado in me. It just comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Yes, I remember. I remember real quick. the The recording went work with your national anthem or, or your song there, yes. and, and so you got up and just and sang it. I couldn't even believe yes. it. I was in the room. I, yes. I I remember seeing you changing your cap and gown right before my eyes. I and I followed you because I just love you. And oh, your camera went off, babe. There you go. And I remember going into the room and just saw this whole thing happen. And I was just one of the only U.S. people in the room, <laughs> and I saw all <laughs> these things happen. And then you just started singing. It was like. This woman can do anything. Yeah. You you mm -hmm. really can. I mean, we're just hitting on some of the things. I don't even understand that the viewers probably can't even relate. That before I even forget to announce this, I I saw on the big poster when I was in um, India last year with you that you were listed as the one of the top one hundred most influential women in the world. People need to know this about you because you're so humble, and I know you would never say it. So I I have to brag on you because. I was like, and there you are with Oprah and all these people. I'm like, oh my God, there's my sister <laughs> and I'm here and I got to go and see you and hug you and you're, all your beautiful gowns that you wore that your mother makes for you and then you auctioned them off that one year. It was just like so many amazing things that I've got to experience personally with you that I wanted to just to share before we run out of time because you are just so amazing and you're, you just talk like it's nothing and it's <laughs> like it's no big deal. But all these things that you have done are massive, just massive, and what you're undertaking, and now the she economy, and then the million women, and the wefs um, all over the world, and all the chapters you've arranged. It's just like it just doesn't stop, and I just so respect you for that. So I just want to get my two cents in because it's <laughs> it, it's it, people need to know how powerful you are because of your heart, and that you set that man and that intention, and you manifest, and you take the source, and you just take the gifts from, from God and, and apply it and you do the action and everybody follows you because it's just how it is. <laughs> it's amazing. You're just so amazing. I, I just, I just so excited with you. <laughs> to be in your energy. It's really, really um, a blessing. Very to touching, really very touching. Thank you for receiving in that way. And like you said, um, uh, the humility is not something which is, um, which, which I try to do. It's something it comes from real realization that this is it. And I always say um, the paradox of power is that you cannot assume it. Mm. Uh, you know, you know the, the power, when you said you are so powerful, but if I start assuming in myself what it means to be powerful in a shallow sense, yeah. uh, if, I, if, if I want to show what that power means, I will start showing it in shallow ways that might be read as signs of power by people, but it's really going to limit the flow of that infinite power that will flow through me if I just surrender to it in humility and let it do the work and not try to fight with it and take whatever from it and say, listen, it's me doing the work, but it is it doing the work. It really, it, it is it. The universe has been here it's for like billions of years and it's going to go on even after us we are long gone all of us and we just have to be humble by the fact that it's flowing through us because it finds a clean and pure heart to flow through and that's my only job just to keep it clean and pure out here so that the the power feels attracted to flow through this heart because this is where it rejoices and rebels, uh, you know, and just create that hollowness of the spirit and take the sense of doership of it. This is very Indian, actually, what I'm saying, uh, that Man. you should, uh, you know, just do things with humility and you have to get out of your own way and just have faith that the universal power will flow through you like music flows through a hollow flute, but mm. you just have to be that hollow so as to let that universal energy flow your design use your design to make the music out of you that will beautifully can come only out of you because you are given that design by god you are given those strengths by god and given given those those skills and and qualities uh, that then when when the power flows through you it will 
come out through those designs and come out through those crevices which are uniquely yours and you get to blossom in that because your the universal that infinite powerful powerhouse of energy is is helping you blossom out into your unique design uh, it's like it's like you see a seed and you really don't know what design is in that seed, what kind of a flower will come out of it, what kind of a fruit will come out of it, what will be the shape of the tree in that seed. You can't see it. But when, when, when that seed is empowered by a nourishing environment, it's embedded in soil where it thrives, it's looked after it by water by love by air by oxygen and all of that and a loving gardener um, it just thrives and becomes into the manifest the blueprint of the design that it had it all the while inside of it so we have the blueprints of the divine designs inside us all the time and when the power flows through us it's nourishing the seed of the, that that divine design that we are and by nourishing it it's helping it blossom a little more into the fruit into the flower into the tree into the leaf into the branch that it can become so that is your reward you don't need any other reward for doing what you do uh that you know so uh, you feel thankful and humbled and blessed all the time because service or or humility or whatever these i'm not doing a favor on anybody by by, by absorbing these uh, attitudes. It's the greatest favor is, that I'm doing is unto my own spirit because I'm helping it blossom. Uh, and when you have that kind of a deep-rooted realization, I'm not saying temptations don't come. They come, they come often. The, 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 the temptation of desire to become something, take something for yourself. But that's the time you need to go back to your authentic divine inside of you. There's a lot of, talk about these days about authenticity and I always say remember being authentic to what uh, what do you want to be authentic to because otherwise we sort of don't quite understand uh, we get flown into that everything that I'm feeling is authentic no it's not like that everything that you're feeling um, uh, is it what you're feeling is it helping somebody now that's an thought which is authentic to my the mother energy in me right so if your child is saying oh i feel like adding some poison to my food today that's an authentic thought right hey mom i feel like adding some poison to my food today i'm feeling like that that's being authentic to my feeling what is the mother going to say well she's being authentic to her greater energy as a mother which is taking care of people which wants, which wants you to thrive and, and which wants to be useful to you, to be helpful to you, to be protective of you. So being, she's being authentic to herself. So in the hierarchy of that authenticity, to what are you being authentic is something we need to answer ourselves to that higher selves, to the higher self inside of us, uh, you know, not just call being uh, you know, authentic to our, our, you know, we have all kinds of levels flowing and we are embracing all of them. We must, we must. But what, what is that voice of authenticity that we are going to honor? The one that comes from a higher self. Why? And because again, that you must do it for any outside sake. You must do it because it will clarify your mind the most. It will cleanse your heart the most and it will give you a much clearer direction of where you need to go next. So just my two bit from my own learnings and yearnings. <laughs> well, that's why, I mean, that's, I'm so glad and that's what the whole show is about is, is experts like yourself that have, you know, done what they've done and, and their, their contributions to the world is how do, they, how do they do that? Like if you can share with any of the women that are watching this, you know, and they're hearing your story, then, then maybe they can learn a little bit and just get those golden nuggets and apply it to themselves so they can achieve their higher selves. So hearing from someone like yourself is so, so incredibly massive and powerful in its way that it is authentic because it comes from the source and it comes through you. And, and I just so I connected with you immediately and, and I watched you on stage for six days straight and you had something to say about every single woman that got an award from you. And to me, that was 
just, just that alone is such a gift that you are able to you listen to every single person and what they say in whatever language it is, and you comment. And I don't know, I, it just really touches me because you know, I like said, you know, connecting to you, Lauren, or connecting to any other woman with an attitude of respect and and honoring and, and curiosity and wanting to learn from this story is just an opportunity for the expansion of my own soul and of my own 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 outlook and own own inner universe and own my outer universe and everything in and around me. It's an opportunity. So let me make use of that opportunity as much as I can. And in doing so, I extend the invitation to the other as well to participate in this opportunity, to expand our hearts, expand our spirits by just sort of connecting to each other's stories in harmony and in respect. And that's what the whole idea of the she for she, the spirit of sisterhood has been all about. And uh, people ask me what the All Ladies League does, you know, the local chapters, which is what we started with. It's called acronyms to all, that all of us have that spark. And when we extend to each other the beautiful hand of sisterhood, we are able to manifest my spark and your spark and our spark together. It just expands the space for everybody. So good. <laughs> it's just such words of wisdom. You know, it, it, it's just, I don't know. I'm so excited to, just to be around you. <laughs> it's just so good because I feel the same way. I mean, everything you're saying is, I, I feel the same way and you know, I just have faith and I let things come through me. People are like, how do you do what you do? And I said, I just do it. It just, I'm just a vessel. I just take, put that into action. It's not always easy. Like you said, there's things that, you know, it's called life, but I just keep pushing and go, going and, and, and following God's journey for me every day. And it just works out, you know, and everything, like you said too, everything you set your intention to and you commit to it, it happens. It's just, the law. <laughs> it, 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 it is, right? It's just a lie. It's like everything in my calendar now, if I write it down, if it's in there, it just gets done. Like there's no two, two ways about it. And when you, and, and, and you're just a prime example of, you say you're going to do it. And does it seem challenging? Of course. Does it seem people think you're crazy? Yes, but you do it. I mean, look what you've done already. It's just to being to where you are today. It's just so commendable. People don't even know half the things. I don't even know half Half the thing like this thing, yeah, Lauren. Uh, I didn't do it done, it got done through me. That's right, you're the vessel, exactly. That's I, I understand that. Thanks for clarifying that. Because my, my guru guru used to pick on every word, They're like oh, so you the <laughs> words that you say reveal the assumptions that you hold. <laughs> so, I'm gonna catch you on those. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I need to be trained with you. Spend more time. Oh, we, can, no. we can zoom just, together, <laughs> yeah, just sort of taking those. Uh, learnings or teachings that impress you in the mind or that touch you in your heart to really take them down with their meaning and their report in every cell of your being. It's just that. And it comes through practice and, mm -hmm. and holding on to that and not doubting it and just treading the path and saying, uh, there is no difference between this teaching and me. This teaching should walk and talk through me not just reside in me here. Well said, well said, <laughs> so, so good. So, Even though, like you said, the power of the words too, you know, instead of saying, oh, I have to do this today, you just change the have to get to, just that small yeah. change in the mind. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's Love right. it, and yes, yeah. and I'm committed to, and I stand for this, and words like this, it, it just makes life so much easier, and, and replacing yeah. fear with faith, and. There's just so many little tips and tricks that I yes, I've what wanted. they're words that carry light to you, that carry clarity to you, that carry responsibility to you. Words that vehicle values to you are absolutely like mantras, right? Yes, it's the law. <laughs> it's the law. <laughs> the law, because I said so. <laughs> no, but it just it makes for me when I get out of my own way and just let source and God and 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 my faith just guide me. Like we're even just having this conversation is absolutely supposed to be, there's no coincidence. And when you get out of your own way and let life happen with you, instead of at like to you, it's like, you get to do these things. You get to have these moments, you get to experience things, you get to serve. 
and lead with generosity and lead yeah. with your heart. It's an opportunity, really. It's an opportunity. Absolutely. Everything that you get and never take any opportunity for granted. Never even take another breath for granted. And that's easier said than done. I understand. But that's the practice. Like living that, that I'm not taking this moment for granted. I'm not taking this opportunity for granted, especially sensing the intention of that opportunity, which has come to uplift it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so of course, you must also say no to things that you don't feel aligned with and trust your instinct and your gut to say no, because, you know, people sound, it, it's actually that simple. Everything begins with a yes and everything can end with a no. That's all it takes. Those two little words, right? That's it. They, they mean exactly what they mean. And they do to your life exactly what they do. So you want something to open up in your life? Say yes. If you want something to stop in your life, say no. That's it. It's simple. <laughs> you heard it from her yourself. That was from Dr. Harbin's words right there. Yes or no. As simple as that. We, we make it simple. difficult. We get in our own way, that's, right? That's right. That's, that's right. That's what's so crazy is we. It's because we are not able to put enough energy to be able to say that yes, which is true in our body, mind, and soul, and we are not able to gather enough that much energy to say that no with our body, mind, and soul. And and what what gives out that energy is is just sometimes clarity and commitment. You know that brings out the energy, that brings out the strength. Why is it that? As a mother, your decisions are so much easier for you when it comes to the well-being of your children. It's, mm -hmm. it's because we've forgotten to mother ourselves that things are so hard for us. The moment we start mothering our own selves, things are crystal clear. Mom knows exactly what to do. <laughs> and there you get the energy and the strength. And the protection. Answers and the answers. Because you're in the, you're in the mother state. So you get the, all the protection. God, this is so good. It's so good. My whole t topic, I've changed it a little bit. Um, I speak about daring to be different and living your true authentic self because I've been different and stand out my whole life. And it hasn't, it's not always been easy. You know, I, we, I talked about it on your stage, actually. And you, we, you said a whole thing in Hindu, I believe, after I got done sharing. I don't know what you said, but <laughs> then you said in English, so I, I got to understand. But yeah, it's, it's you know, being judged and being discriminated against, being bullied, all these things for being different is huge. And, and instead of letting that take me down, I let it propel me into now serving and sharing my story with others so they can realize that you can c come out on the other side and how, how that strength that can be. And also about putting yourself first. Like you said, be our own mother. I love that. I've never heard that expression. We call it self-love, self-care, putting yourself first. Because as women, we tend to put ourselves last innately because everything comes first. And especially for female entrepreneurs, I've met so many now in my travels that they put so much time and energy building their business that they completely forget about what? Themselves. So my whole mission and my purpose and my passion now has been to really have the mindset to, to turn around and and say that I matter, I'm enough, I'm worthy, and I can come first because everyone around me wins. It's not being selfish. It's not a selfish heart at all. It's a, what of being smart because then if something happened to you that everyone you care about, they suffer, and you're actually doing them a disservice rather than service. So this is a whole thing that, that you, when you just said, I just love that, I want to write it down, you become your own mother. And because you know what's best for you and, and as the child. That's yes. just brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to use that if you don't mind. Oh, I, I, I arrived at it by, by, by need and by, yeah, you, because I'm looking for it. So I got that answer. And now it's so much easier, you know, that the, the clarity is so much easier. Um, yeah, I'm looking after myself well as my mother. <laughs> so is oh. my mother <laughs> with all the beautiful dresses she makes for me and my whole house that she runs for me and the great food that I get she arranges to get for me yeah I'm blessed got a lot of mothers <laughs> and yeah my mom's my best friend too and I think that's just, it's a gift it really is I, I, I meet mothers of my sisters I always I always call them mom 
and everybody's wondering why do I call them mom? I'm like because I need more moms. <laughs> it's always good to have more moms. <laughs> Absolutely. I was just I just was talking to Mamie and I told it the whole world that I call her mama and we're almost the same <laughs> age. <laughs> but it's it's because I look so up to her and she's like a mom to me. She's the one that brought me to yeah. you. Literally yeah. to India. So she's become my mom since then and we've gotten so close and and the sisterhood that you created. And, and this is what I want to share to, to, to our audience is that if you don't know Dr. Harbin or you don't know what WEF is about, Women Economic Forum and the All Ladies League, please look into it. Um, I'm going to have her bio and all her information on how to, to research some of these things. But it's changed my life. It's changed a lot of women that I know and, and for here in Team USA. And I'm just so honored. <laughs> and I encourage you to look at it. Because we're going to be building another team to come to you and share our message. Thank you. So, Lauren, God bless you. Thank you. It's a big deal. <laughs> it is. And vulnerability is my new superpower, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I learned that on your stage as well when I was crying about you. And it's just such a gift that you, you've been chosen to be such an a inspiration to so many women all over the world in such a, in, in a big, way, big way. And for me just to share at the same stage with you ever is, is so great. So I really want to encourage other women that they can come too. This isn't just for a few of us. This is for all of us. To, we have to get a million of us. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it is a big mission. Yeah, you put a big job with, on me. With, Lauren, with, with Lauren sharing the word on a show, this is easy. I can tell you that because you got so many empowered sisters on board with you. This yeah. is easy. Yes, but they got. I, should, I think we should talk about <laughs> mission millions instead of mission million. There you go. There you go. Let's even think bigger, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why so <laughs> for one when we could have several? I Absolutely. love the attitude. Yeah, we can source anything we want. And, you know, you've got the economy thing now that just seems like such a stretch, but that's how things get done. You stretch yourself, right? And you believe in yourself and your team and your people and your tribe and your sisters and all these things that you've created will all come together. Like, we're, we're all on board. We just heard about it. So the divine feminine energy, like you say, we're all collective and connected to join forces and how can we miss with you at the helm? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's you. yes, it's, it's, it's true. Clearly I'm not that good of an actress to, <laughs> to cry on cue. Oh. No, cause you know, I feel from my heart and it's just such a, such a big deal. I'm so excited for the women to jump on board with us. that get to hear this message. They're coming from me. They get to meet you now and you know, in person or, you know, on this virtual call it's a big deal. Not to bring, to, not too many people get the opportunity to have a little just casual conversation with with you. It's like me talking to Oprah. It's the same thing, <laughs> you know. Really, but I you, love her. I'm reading a book by Oprah right now. It's on my my reading desk right now. So it's it's great that you say that. Uh, I'd love to meet her one day. And uh, well, yeah, you're right. I just have declared to it. You just off. declared it. That's going to happen. I want to go with same, you. Same same list of the most reputed people on earth 2019 i uh, the, uh, that's the only claim to fame i share of being at the same uh, stage with opera she's an inspiration to millions and millions of women around the world including me so we love her um, and uh, we own her really she's ours there you go. That's what a way to put it and you know our Didi our sister Didi Wong just got in Oprah's magazine. Oh, yes. Yes, that's right. That's how, right. Yes. Yeah. How exciting is own, that? I mean, it's, it's you know, uh, Oprah, Oprah's company is called OWN Own. So Own is our very own. That's right. <laughs> we own Oprah. I just love that. <laughs> so good. Oh, my gosh. I just want to talk to you forever. And I want to let you go. But I know you're so busy and you got so much going on. And what do we need to do? So we need to gather up all the women. We need to plan to come. 2021 to where either Egypt or, or um, India. Or both. Or both. Or both. And then 2022, <laughs> Mamie and I are completely committed to, to bring a, a tribe of our women from the U.S. delegates over and, and share our message with you. So that's a given. As many as we can gather up. And we have to just come and see your gowns. <laughs> yes, 
can't take them away with you. <laughs> uh, yes, that I know. We we uh, been on that one for sure. Yeah, the so, Egyptian uh, the gowns for the Egypt event are in Egypt with my sisters. So like you know everywhere the event the gowns for Madurai that we did in India are with sisters who came to Madurai. So they're all over the place. <laughs> So awesome. And you changed, like, I can't remember how many times. That. Twice, <laughs> twice, so that we can have more guns to give away. <laughs> yeah, we got a whole rack of them. The, the, yes, <laughs> you remember, we did that in LA. <laughs> yes, I was there as well. That was, that was when I was like your personal bodyguard, remember? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you always are. I feel yeah. so protected to you around, really. That's right, I just got to sit at the table with you and protect you. <laughs> I got to do that, Lauren. It was so good. Have you read your book? Yes. You gave, sent this one to me, right? Where my picture is there. Your picture is there. No, I gave this to you on stage at the last That's one. right. That's the last right. One. Yes, and I cried giving it to you then too <laughs> in front of everybody. And you, and you, and, and you, you look lovely in your, uh, in 2018, of course, that was in 2019 as well. But in 2018, I love what you were wearing and uh, the picture. Uh, it's, it's, it's a mind-boggling picture of all of you. It's beautiful. Yes, I have it. There it is again. Yes, I know. And I then know. you wore one the next day because you commented on yes. it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, because I was just in some little gown during the, just a regular dress during the day. And then at night, it came in the sari and the, the, the whole thing. And I remember you just going, oh, wow. <laughs> it just was so great. I have like five saris now. From there, wow. all custom made when from the two visits. Yes, one is all purple. I'm I'm going to wear it next time for sure. And I'm so sad I missed this last Egypt trip. It was I was committed to a leadership program and I couldn't couldn't go. But Dee Dee shared with me that it was you, life. You 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 were doing what you were meant to do. Yes, and you're all in our places doing exactly what we're meant to do. No mistake, and right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, but I heard it was fabulous. Dee Dee said it was life. Thank you. Yes, it was, because it was a fabulous team of sisters taking care of it. So when you put fabulous energy in, you get fabulous energy out. out. <laughs> so good. Anything else you want to add? Because these are just, just golden nuggets. And you're just, just to have you of your presence is just so, we're so honored. And I know, I know everybody's going to be so grateful to, to see you on the show and, and be part of what your mission is. If I have anything to do with it, Mamie and Didi and Andrea and our whole USA team, we are going to stand committed. To you play. already are. You already are. Yeah, we're doing it. We're going to bring it. We're going to bring it because we just love you and adore you. And I love that the vessel you are to life and what you bring and share and how many women you've impacted their lives, including myself, is just, there's not enough thank yous. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sister. You're very welcome. So with that, we'll have all your information and everything there, uh, Dr. Harbin. And she's one of the top. Now you guys see why I cry about it <laughs> and that she's one of the top most influential women in the world right alongside her mentor, Oprah Winfrey. So Dr. Harbin, I love you so much. Kisses to Benet and all the, all the sisters out there. And thank you so much. And let's stay in touch through this new Zoom thing we've got going on. <laughs> no yes, excuses, right? All right. I love you so much. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste, my sister. Bye-bye.